Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel to another painting tutorial, this time uh, Soviet infantry. Um, when you get these you'll have thousands to paint, so this is actually quite quick and easy to get at least one of them done. And you just multiply this a hundred times and you'll have your uh, company or battalion ready. As you know in my style, it's not going to win you many competitions, if any, but it will get you guys out of the box and onto the table looking fairly decent. And Usually with these guys, they paint up quite nice in the end, so let's get stuck into it. Okay, so here we have the model primed and ready to go, done it brown, uh, like uh, the British infantry I did last time. Uh, again, any colour, your preference, but make sure you try to prime on the paint, it uh, does uh, look a lot better. So, first of all, we're going to be doing the uniform and the trousers, um, so just go over, you can go over the entire model if you like at this point. Um, and I'm going to be using the Vallejo Khaki Grey. Okay, so that is the uniform done. So while that is drying, we'll do the helmet, uh, Cam Olive Green, which is another Vallejo colour. And if they have any grenades, uh, do that, this colour as well. Okay, so that is the helmet done, still wet, uh, and the uniform is still wet as well. It's only been a few seconds gone since the last little bit. Uh, so now we're going to be doing the boots, and we're going to be using Contrast Black Templar. Okay, so that is the boots done, nice and simple step. So next step we're going to be doing the rifle, um, the handle on the entrenching tool at the back, and have a look and see if you can see any uh, grenades as well. Uh, we're going to be doing that with contrast wildwood, but make sure the uniform is dry and all the other uh, previous steps are dry before we do that. Okay, so that is the rifle done and the entrenching tool on the back. So. While we wait for that to dry, we're going to be doing the belt around uh, the model's waist uh, using Vallejo Flat Earth. Uh, on a lot of the models like this one, it's not that visible, so you can just about make it out at the back by there. Okay, so while everything else waits to dry as, as per normal, uh, we will be doing the skin areas uh, with uh, Citadel base Corax white, but any base colour white will do. Okay, so that is the skin areas done, so we'll let that dry, so while that's, go, while that's drying, we will do the metal parts of the model, so uh, the metal bits of the rifle, any um, pins on the grenades using gun metal um, army painter paint. Okay, so there you can see the metal areas on the rifle done, and if you can, uh, try and get the belt buckle as well. I do that, uh, this in metal, but you can do it any colour you want, really, uh, whatever you, uh, you fancy. So, uh, that is done, so now we're going to do all the webbing, and uh, the sacks and pouches, and the strap on the rifle, and sometimes there is some helmet straps as well, so get them as well. For that, we're going to be using Vallejo Stone Grey. Okay, so there you go, there's all the webbing and straps done, looks quite nice now, the model's really starting to uh, come alive. Uh, so, what we want is to wait for the white areas on the skin to dry, because we'll be going over that with contrast Gilliman flesh, and once we've done that, there's only one more step done for the model, and it's done. Okay, and there we have our finished Soviet infantryman, so paints up quite nicely. Now you've only got like about a hundred more to do, so there you go, good luck, and it's nice and quick really, um, getting these done, um, so shouldn't be too uh, long getting uh, your battalion up and running. 